Why don't you have your seatbelt on? Don't knock on my window. Why don't you have your seatbelt on? Don't knock on my window like that, no. Like what? Don't knock on my window like that. Why you have it up? Don't knock on my window like that. Why you have it up? I have to knock to let you know I'm here. Don't knock that way you can lower it and talk to you. Give me my ticket, bro, so I can go. I'm gonna be late, gang. Do what you gotta do. Keep it down. Hey! Keep your window down. Hey, keep your window down. Keep your window down, I'm gonna get you out of the car. As a matter of fact, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, get out of the car right now. We're not playing this game. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. What part of the building doing this time? Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew, I'm getting arrested, dude. I'm getting arrested. So again, this is the early stages of this confrontation that Miami Dolphin star wide receiver Tyreek hit. Tyreek Hill had yesterday with members of the Miami-Dade Police Department. You may have heard some of it, but again, the officer told Hill to keep his window rolled down. Uh, Hill refused. Uh, Tyreek, before that, said he told the officers, look, just do what you got to do so I can get going, so I can play this football game. When he kept his window up, that's when the officer said, uh, listen, you've got to do what we say or we're going to yank you out of the car, and that's exactly what they did. You saw Hill being removed from the car by that officer with the help of two others, then put face down on the ground and handcuffed. Again, this is the early part of this confrontation. The clip that we've received is a little over an hour long. The rest of it shows his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, coming there a bit later on the scene and uh, other people there, uh, Dolphin fans and apparently perhaps members of Dolphin security who were made aware of this situation who then came out to help uh, Tyreek Hill get away from this situation and get into the uh, stadium so that he could play the game yesterday, which he did. But again, this video just released from the Miami-Dade Police Department. Stephanie Daniels, the director, said she wanted to be transparent about this. And as soon as we can look at more of this video, we'll tell you and share with you more of exactly what happened yesterday with Tyreek Hill and those Miami-Dade police officers. For now, live in the CBS Miami Newsroom, I'm Jim Barry. Back to you, Lauren. Thank you.